Welcome to New Planet School. Today we are going to do some more trigonometry. Um, today's video is a little bit different from some of the other ones. We're not actually going to try to learn trigonometry as much as we're going to try to learn how to remember trigonometry through this mnemonic SOKOTOA. And so what's that all about? Um, let's get started. What is a mnemonic? A mnemonic is simply a way to remember things. Um, to give you an example of a mnemonic that you might already know is one called Roy G. Biv. Have you heard of this one before? Probably you have. Um, and if you haven't, you're going to learn another mnemonic here right now. What Roy G. Biv is, is it's, it's a mnemonic that's designed to sound like someone's name. Like you probably met people named Roy. They have a middle name, G, and their last name is Biv. Sounds perfectly reasonable. I think I met him once. Um, but what this new... This mnemonic is for us to remember the colors of the rainbow. And the colors of the rainbow, as you start um, from the outside and you go in, what are all these colors and how do you remember them? What they are is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And what does that spell? It spells Roy G. Biv. So if you can remember your old friend Roy G. Biv, and then you can just remember that, you know, red, R must stand for red, what would O be? Must be orange, what's yellow? That must be the Y, and so forth. You can then remember the colors of the rainbow. So there's a mnemonic that you probably have seen before. And that's all we want to do here, but we want to do it for trigonometry. But before we get to the mnemonic, let's spend some time just reminding ourselves what it is that we're trying to remember here. Now what we're trying to remember is we're trying to remember these relationships. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. So if I take this circle and I draw a right angle to form a right triangle, and I put a angle here theta, this would be the opposite, this would be the adjacent, and the side opposite of the right angle is the hypotenuse. So what we're talking about here specifically relationships for right triangles. And these are the relationships um, between the angle and the lengths of those sides. It allows me to write the angle to those sides, but I want to be able to not forget these particular relationships. So, um, <clears throat> That is basically the goal. Okay, now in terms of the unit circle, which is an important concept in trigonometry, the same thing is true. There's actually nothing particularly new here. Um, the only difference is, is in a unit circle, the hypotenuse equals 1, and therefore the sine of theta is just equal to the opposite because it, the general relationship is opposite over hypotenuse, but if the hypotenuse is equal to 1, it's just equal to the hypotenuse. And um, similarly for the other relationships. So nothing different for the unit circle except for, for that. And these are the relationships we want to remember in general and for the unit circle. Okay, so here's what we're going to remember. Sokotoa. That's what you're going to never forget the rest of your life. And if you can remember that, here's what you get. You can remember this, that so is the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So here's our, here's our right triangle. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, and that is so. Ka, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So here's our angle adjacent over hypotenuse. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's ka. And then tangent is opposite over adjacent. Is opposite over adjacent. And that is toa. So if you can just simply remember this relationship here, this word, this phrase, this funny sounding thing, soka toa, then you can remember for the rest of your life these three trigonometric definitions and how the angles are related to the sides of a right triangle. And that's it. That's basically it. Now, however, what if you forget Sokotoa? I mean, that's possible, right? You're trying to remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and you're going to try to remember so, but what if you forget so? So one way to remember something, to remember something, is to have a mnemonic 
for the mnemonic. And so that's something that's actually a lot of fun to do. And here's why. Because one way to create a mnemonic for the Sokotoa mnemonic is to come up with phrases or sentences that spell out Sokotoa. So here's an example that's really useful that you should try to actually keep in mind no matter what. Studying our homework can always help to obtain achievement. Studying our homework can always help to obtain achievement. Sokotoa. So if I can remember this very useful sentence, I can always remember Sokotoa, and then from there I can remember that sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse and so forth. Now, another thing you can do is you don't need to remember these all in the same order. So what if we um, want to do the tangent, cosine, and sine um, in that order? Because as, as long as we keep these three blocks together, we're safe. So if you can come up with a sentence that you can remember more that's in a different order, that's perfectly fine as long as you keep these three blocks together. So here's an example of that. The old army colonel and his son often hiccup. I mean, that's pretty memorable. And it spells toa kaso. Perfectly fine. As long as you, like I said, keep these three letter combinations together, you are fine. So you can do this in any order that you wish. Now, here's two that are fairly common. You might have heard these before. Um, and they're kind of fun, easy to remember. Um, but one thing that I would recommend for you is to come up with your own. So I did that. I came up with two. And so let me just show you what I came up with. Uh, I try to come up with something that I can remember and I have a vivid picture of, something that I cannot possibly forget. So what I came up with that I can't possibly forget is several of her cats are happy to obliterate art. That's pretty easy to remember. I got a pretty vivid picture of that. And then I don't have to keep with the same order. So I can also do some that are not in the same order. And so here I'm going to do one where I start with cosine, go to sine, and go to tangent. And so here's one I made up for you. Um, cows always harass snakes on holidays to observe agitation. And so there's another, ka so toa, perfectly valid um, mnemonic for the ka so toa mnemonic. And so if you can remember one of these funny sentences, um, you should do that. So you should come up with your own. These are two that I came up with. Um, and come up with something that you can really picture that you like is connected somehow with your life or something funny. Like the first one here, there's the crazy cat that's obliterating the art. Or in the bottom one, here's the cow that's harassing the snake and he does it on Christmas. Um, and so try to come up with something that's easy for you to remember. It doesn't matter what I can remember. It matters what you can remember. So try to come up with something that's very useful specifically for you. And then you will never forget. Okay. Now, what if you forget all of this? What if you forget um, the mnemonics? You forget Sokotoa, you forget all these little sentences. Now, what I would recommend you do so that you really never forget this is try to connect the basic definitions, the trigonometric definition, sine, cosine, and tangent, to something that you won't forget. And really, the key here is the word you. Um, and so you need to figure this out on your own, and that way you'll be in the best shape. I'll give you an example of what I mean, which is something that I do. This may work for you. It may not work for you. Um, if it works for you, that's great. Um, if not, come up with something that's, that's something that you can actually remember. So what I remember is this particular fact, is that the sign is small when the angle is small. So what I can do at any given time, if I forget all of this, I go back, I draw the unit circle, and I put a line here. I have my angle here, and I have my right angle here. Start with that. I'm always on safe ground. And what I remember is the sine is small when the angle is small. Well, as this angle gets small, definitely, you know, the hypotenuse is staying the same length. It's a unit circle. Um, the angle that's adjacent is getting actually longer. It's definitely not getting shorter. And so the thing that's getting small is the opposite of that angle. So I can always remember that sine of theta must be the opposite, and I always remember that sine and cosine involve the hypotenuse, must be opposite over hypotenuse. And that's how I remember so. 
And, and that is simply because I happen to have this ingrained in my mind. And the reason for that is I remember what sign looks like. It always starts at the origin. It's small and it gets bigger and it starts to oscillate like this. And, and that's what I remember is that sign is the one um, that is small when the angle is small. Now you can remember something else. Now, continuing with this, if that's true, then cosine theta is the other one that involves the hypotenuse that's not this one and the only other option is adjacent. That's the only other side that's left. So the only possibility is ka. And then I also know, we all know that tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta or if you want it's the one that doesn't involve the hypotenuse and therefore that will be the opposite over the adjacent and that is toa. So that's what I do. I, I either keep in mind um, some things about the unit circle. I, I remember this picture of sine theta. These are things I can remember and then once I remember one little fact I can quickly generate Sokotoa. And so you should try to do the same thing for you. I don't know what it'll be, um, but if you do forget the mnemonics, um, try to remember the mnemonics, Sokotoa, but if you don't remember, try to just write down some things you do know and you should be able to figure it out from there. Okay, so in summary, the three trigonometric definitions can be memorized with this mnemonic, Sokotoa. And so don't ever forget that as long as you live. I think by now you won't forget it. If you can't remember Sokotoa, remember some sentence that Sokotoa makes. And so one of the ones that I made up um, for this video is several ever cats are happy to obliterate art and come up with a crazy picture that goes with it so that you won't forget it. Um, and so that's what I did. I came up with my own funny sentences that spell Sokotoa and some funny picture. And so that's what works for me. Try to do something that works for you. Also keep in mind that you can come up with different orders. So if you can't come up with a funny sentence that's Sokotoa, go ahead and try to do Ka Satoa or, or any, anything that you want. Um, but most importantly is, of course, the purpose of understanding um, trigonometry is that we actually learn something. So it's probably best to not just try to memorize Sokotoa, but try to connect it to something that you know. Make it have some meaning to you. Like um, for me, like I said, Sokotoa is, is very, very much connected with the fact that sine has this shape, right? And that sine is small when the theta is small, and therefore that must imply so. And so I have these connections in my mind that I make. So keep that in mind. Make as many, many, many connections as you possibly can, and I guarantee you will never forget, and you'll have a much deeper understanding. Um, so... Um, with that, thank you for being here at New Planet School, and I hope to see you here very soon.